Joining us now, former director of national intelligence, Jim Clapper. He's now a CNN national security analyst, of course. Good to see you, sir, as always. First of all, your take on how the AG has handled this process uh, culminating in today. Well, to be honest, uh, Chris, I'm uh, a bit disappointed. Uh, I think uh, the Attorney General clearly is trying to paint as favorable a light on the Mueller report as possible. And when you read it, uh, it's pretty devastating. Uh, I'll tell you, though, the, th the big thing for me, the big deal for me in this was laying out in very rich detail the magnitude and pervasiveness of the Russian interference in our election in 2016. And uh, personally gratifying because of the intelligence community assessment that we rendered on January 6th of 2017, briefed then President-elect Trump on about the, magne about the Russian interference. But this mm -hmm. report, we only scratched the surface. And I hope uh, Americans will take the time to read that, you know, collusion, obstruction aside, the big deal to me is, is the magnitude of the Russian interference, and no one can say they didn't interfere and, and in fact, I think, taint the election. And like the president did on the world stage with Putin right by his side, where he said, I don't know why it would be Russia, and then they tried to say after that he said, wouldn't. Uh, it was about as clumsy as all the other cover-ups that we see in this report. They knew there was interference. They tried to benefit from it. They did things that were wrong. Right. They lied about the same. But those don't equate with crimes. So, Mr. Clapper, where does it leave us in terms of what to do with this information? What would be a righteous move by Congress? Well, you know, that's a great question. It really is a, a, a conundrum, as others have, have commented earlier. Uh, particularly for the Democrats, Democrats in the House, is, uh, you know, whether to pursue this mm. in terms of an impeachment. Clearly, at least my read of the Mueller report is that there is a roadmap laid out there sh if the Congress chooses uh, to follow it. I think the decision is whether to do that uh, in the face of uh, you know, Republican resistance or opposition in the in the Senate, which is where a conviction has to happen, mm -hmm. or let this play out through uh, the 2020 election. Uh, I've always felt that impeachment, uh, even the process of impeachment, would cause even more divisiveness and yeah. polarization in this country. And the only way to resolve this probably is at the polling polling place. Mm. Yeah, I mean, look, that is the purest way uh, to speak out in opposition to something. And I don't know how it's going to get more clear than it is in this record. And if you don't have buy-in, if you don't have consensus, I don't know where it goes. But Jim Clapper, thank you so much for your guidance throughout this. And we will have to lean on you heavily going forward as well as we start to process everything that's in here and how it fits together. Be well, sir. I'll talk to you soon. All right, let's bring back Shimon Prokupes, CNN crime and justice reporter, Sarah Murray, CNN political correspondent, Josh Campbell, former special assistant to former FBI director Jim Comey and former FBI supervisory special agent, and Jennifer Rogers, CNN legal analyst and former federal prosecutor. Uh, Jennifer, let me just start with you. This uh, help me explain to the audience why saying no collusion, no exoneration is grossly distorting what the reality of this report is. Mueller goes out of his way to say how, I don't think about collusion. We're not going to use that term. It's, it's not a crime. Uh, we're only looking for proof of conspiracy and whether or not these people were foreign agents. If you want to use collusion by the, the Webster Dictionary, clever behavior, secretive behavior, there are tons of that documented in here, and those actions were lied about repeatedly. Fair point? That's right, Chris. I mean, the, the legal issue here that Mueller was looking into is, was there a crime committed here? And then he mm -hmm. also points out that because of what may happen with Congress afterwards, and, you know, he points out also that the president will have no immunity once he's not president anymore, suggesting mm -hmm. that he could even be criminally charged after his term ends. Uh, he wanted to do a thorough investigation for that reason. So he wasn't only looking for conspiracy, which, of course, is the federal crime that would have been charged had the president been chargeable here, but looking for coordination as well as a factual matter he wanted to uh, say in the report.
report if he found it that they actually were working together to interfere in the election. But you're right, collusion is a, a different animal altogether, and we know from all of the contacts, communications, and so on that were later lied about that there certainly mm -hmm. were plenty of evidence of you know what, what you call collusion, even if it wasn't yeah. the, the other things that Mueller was looking for. Yeah, look, no question about it. You know what the irony is to me, guys? That if I were doing messaging for them, I would never use the word collusion. I would only say there is no crime. There's no there, criminal conspiracy. There is no conspiracy. We are not foreign agents. All true, 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 true. And thank God for that. By the way, anybody who's disappointed by those findings, they should check their own agenda and what you want to be true here. But that, Why would we want the, the, the president of the United States to be a foreign agent? But they say collusion. They are asking for trouble because there is a ton of collusion. But then they maybe admit that they had these contacts with Russians. For, for the president, even reading this report, when you listen, to, when you read about uh, the different people who worked for the president who were interviewed by Mueller, there was always concern with, for Trump to somehow say, well, the Russians helped me win this election. Mm -hmm. And he would go out of his way and everything. The Russians did try right. to help he him did not, win the election. He does not Whether want or not to they admit had an that. impact, I don't know how you would measure right. But the intent was clear. Well, I mean, and that's the thing. Look, yes, we are, we are all, as Americans, happy that there is no finding of criminal conspiracy here. But we do see that time and time again, they were willing to accept this, mm -hmm. this help from the Russians, that the president was, you know, then the president-elect or candidate, I can't remember the time exactly, was willing to go out there and say, you know, Russia, if you have Hillary Clinton's emails, give them to us. This is not the kind of behavior I think that most of us want to see from people who are running for president, this willingness to accept help from other countries who want to meddle in our election and want to cause chaos. Because remember, that is what Russia was trying to do. They were trying to and interfere in our election and now. cause chaos. And to that extent, it was a success. So whether it's a con criminal conspiracy, yeah. whether it's collusion, I mean, this was still a hugely disruptive force in an American yeah, election. Look, Josh, well, look what we've spent two years trying to figure out. We yeah. shouldn't need to be having this conversation. We shouldn't have campaigns doing this, being saved by their own ignorance. The reason Trump Jr. didn't get um, <laughs> yes, charged, according right. to the report, is we couldn't tell whether he willfully broke the law, which means we don't know if he Jared was smart Kushner. enough to know yep. that trying to get help from foreign powers, let alone inimical ones, is a bad thing to do that would equate to a campaign finance violation. Pretty low bar. He's lucky he didn't clear it. That's right. And you look at the intelligence community assessment, and no one with a brain that isn't influenced by politics uh, would look at the set of facts that our intelligence community came up with and conclude that the Russians didn't help, that they weren't favoring Trump over Hillary Clinton. Obviously, we've heard long, for a long time that the president looked at that as possibly, uh, you know, something going against his legitimacy. But the problem here, fast forwarding, you know, all of that political noise is that the attorney general, we can't lose sight, mm -hmm. has allowed those political talking points, the no collusion, to pierce yeah. that independent layer inside the Justice Department and stood at that microphone and repeated those remarks, no collusion, but then also took it a step further. And this is what really concerns me. And I've talked to people who have the same concern now. Imagine a defense counsel, a defense lawyer out there who is now has a case pending for the Department of Justice. If they now look at what Barr did for the president, saying, well, there was no crime, so we can understand if the president was frustrated, if he was angry, and using that as some kind of excuse, I would imagine that any defense counsel worth their salt out right, right now is working on that same plan. If I have a case before DOJ, my client's being prosecuted, mm -hmm. and I think he's been treated unfairly, I'm going to bill him as unfair, and I'm going to bill him as, as being, you know, felt like he's frustrated. But they're frustrated, not president of the United States. That as a defense. i got to tell this you, goes I, beyond this, though, I think it's a good defense. I mean, please, feel free to push back on it, but I think it's a good defense for the president here. If you um, believe that the president knew that there was no Russian agent in his midst, that nobody was doing that, and that he was open for business, and he is a man of questionable ethics and scruples. So that's his mindset. I'll get it any way I can get it, right? Uh, and then when he finds out they're going to come after him for doing things that he doesn't believe were illegal, right. so now he's angry. And he's president of the United States, which means he can express his anger in ways that would be wrong for us. He can tell people to do things. Yeah. He's in charge of all these things. He has, con you know, Article II con constitutional mandate. I think he's got a good defense, the, the at problem, least in the though, public it's, sphere. It's a good defense, but the attorney general should not be the one carrying the watch. 100%. If the president's lawyer wants to do that, that's fine. 100%. But again, to stand there at the Department here's, of Justice here's and exactly make that case what is Barr very said. troubling. Here's exactly what Barr said in his press conference today. Yet, as he said from the beginning, meaning the president, there was, in fact, no collusion. This is what came from the attorney general's yeah. mouth today. That's an irresponsible statement. One, because it's a point of advocacy. And two, exactly. it's not accurate in terms of the body of this report. And the report also goes on to say, look, there was no criminal conspiracy yes. between 
Donald Trump and the Russians, between the Trump campaign and the Russians. But it goes on to say, you know, essentially there was a reason that Donald Trump was so scared of this investigation because he, they, they knew it could dredge up things that could be personally uncomfortable. Why would you react that embarrassing. Way? If Sarah Murray finds damaging. out that they're looking into you about whether or not you colluded with Russia, that's not going to be but your reaction. And there's a line in the report that says, you know, they also could have uncovered things that the president believed were crimes. Yeah. Maybe that they weren't actually crimes, maybe they didn't rise to that level. But, you know, there was reason for the president to be concerned. And, and you could argue, some attorneys would, that there was reason for the president then to try to ob obstruct justice.